to another episode of Earning the Hate. Hey, gun people. Hey, a little more Earning the Hate. Your friendly neighborhood officers out here uh, trying to protect and serve the shit out of citizen, doing a welfare check, didn't like that they were on camera, so they decided to commit a crime, actually vandalize and manipulate a personal property of other people that they entered their property and they started manipulating the cameras to keep them off camera. This should be a crime and they should be charged. This is BS. This is your typical, I know, isolated incident. Rick, not all cops are this way. This happens to be a quota hire who has somehow been promoted and she is the senior officer on scene. Watch this guy follow her around and follow her lead. The cops on the cops. Imagine having to call the cops on the cops. That's what So here's the female. You're going to see a little stripe on her shoulder that he doesn't have. Happened to an Edmonton woman. See a little stripe here? Tells me she's probably the ranking officer. Woman last week after a pair of officers were caught on video doing this. Moving around home security cameras so the officers were out of view. Wow. Now why would you do that? Now, if I have done, if we're serving a warrant, and, you know, all warrants are kind of somewhat risky, but if it was a high risk to where these guys are gangbangers and they're dealing dope and we expect them to have guns or we've dealt with them before or we know some of the guys in there and we got a couple of arrest warrants or whatever, when we approach the house, if we find a camera and we know when we do our drive-by and check the place, for dogs, etc., so we can come back and brief. Okay, here's what we have. We got a gate here. We got a lock. We're gonna need to, you need to cut the lock or jump the gate or hook it up to the truck and pull it. You know, so we get our plan as we do a drive-by, and if we see a camera, we'll normally have one person designated to cover that camera. He'll run up and either hold his notebook over it or whatever. That is for an officer safety when we have a court order, a search warrant to go in that property and search, and by covering that camera. We're not giving them the tactical advantage of knowing where we're at, how many officers, etc. So we don't want to give them a tactical advantage before we go in there. So that's different than what they're doing. They're supposedly doing a welfare check. Someone called, and we all know welfare checks end up usually with cops killing someone. Someone wanted this person dead, so they called in a welfare check, and the cops show up and didn't like they were on camera, so they started hiding and manipulating and moving the cameras. This is not only unethical, it's freaking outrageous, it's egregious, and until cops are charged for this shit, everybody's going to sit around and go, oh, she was disciplined, oh, it's an isolated incident, oh, it was for officer safety, bullshit. There was no reason whatsoever for her to manipulate this camera. The first one, I thought maybe it was just because she didn't want me to see her there, and then when they walked around the house and started doing the other. Another tactic is shining a light. If we find a camera or make an entry and we can't reach it because it's high, somebody will shine their flashlight into the camera and will cause washout so they can't gather intel. I don't know if that's what she's doing. Other cameras, I thought this is it for me. Um, I might not make it out. We've agreed to hide the identity. So she's hiding her identity. This is, I think, a news reporter or daughter or something. But this is this is the RP, the reporting party. ...of the homeowner as she fears for her safety. The woman says police showed up last Thursday around 8.30 p.m., but something didn't feel right, so the woman refused to open the door. Instead, she called the non-emergency line. This probably upset the cops saying, what are you doing calling 911? You know, where the police open the damn door, you know where the cops. So in order to make a person feel more secure, instead what she could have done is got her ID out and held up her ID with her picture in front of the camera. I have ID'd myself through a camera before. It's not that big of a deal. Somebody comes to the door, who are you? I'm in plain clothes, they don't know. Yeah, I pull out my badge and ID, and I hold up the camera. I hold it up to the window. It's not a big deal. I don't know why cops now just think they're so offended if any citizen asks anything of them. They should just be able to come in, be tyrannical, beat the shit out of you, tase you, serve the shit out of you, and then leave and say, tough luck, pesky citizen. Otherwise, they're not happy. I mean, our, our government is out of control. But while on hold, she saw the female officer moving all her security cameras to face another direction. Now, she said moving all, so she didn't even do it on this one. She did it on multiple ones. Wow. 
Why didn't the other cop stop her, Rick? Because he's a pussy? Because he's scared? Because she outranks him? I, it's just freaking ridiculous. Direction. That's when she dialed 911. She was scared of what would happen next. I might die today. I actually texted a couple people and I said, I'm, I said, you know, if this happens, just remember that and that might be it. She says one officer then tried to kick down her back door. We were sent these pictures that shows dents and cracks on the doors and a split door frame. The woman tells us the officers left the area after she spoke to the 911 operator. The homeowner later contacted EPS and was told it was a wellness check, but they refused to tell her who exactly made the call. So government won't tell them who called on them. They left after they talked to 911. Guess what? If all you want to do is see if someone's okay, not you can have dispatch call. Do a reverse on the address. Say call the call the people inside. Or tell them we're at the front door. Check on their status. Tell them if they want to come to or fine. She probably got on the phone and said, I'm fine. I don't need a wellness check. I don't want to let the cops in. They're moving my security camera. And then the cops left. Remember I told you, never open your door for the police either they have a warrant and they're gonna kick it or they don't and they'll leave and these people left now whether or not they kicked her door or not i don't know because they moved her security camera as far as i'm concerned that's automatically proves they did it i don't have to go any further if you move the security camera so you can't see and now you're claiming we didn't do that then you shouldn't have moved the damn security camera unless they got body cam that shows they didn't but i mean this is just uh, again earning the hate BS from tyrannical cops that really think they can do anything, and they think that because they can, because no DA charged them. I've said this before, I still get things. That's because they have limited immunity. Limited immunity is only for civil and money. You can't get them in court and sue them civilly. Limited immunity has nothing to do with the DA, U.S. attorney, state's attorney, with anybody in government charging these guys for a crime. They aren't charged because nobody demands it and nobody requires them to be charged and held accountable. From what you saw in these videos, is this proper police protocol? No, in fact, it's, uh, I, I, <clears throat> I would think it's criminal behavior on the part of the police. It's absolutely criminal behavior. You got no business touching my camera. You ain't got no business kicking my door. Now, they can walk up to the door. Why? Because the post office can walk up to it. If her gate was locked, they could not climb the gate to go in. Again, you have to make sure that if the post office can get to it, UPS, FedEx, or anybody else can get to a place in your home, then the cops can go there. It's considered public. It's not considered private because you allow public access to FedEx, UPS, the post office. This law expert says these videos show obstruction of justice and mischief to private prop. Absolutely, it's obstruction of justice. If you got nothing to hide, why are you hiding it? Pretty. They're interfering with private property, which is the crime of mischief to private property. It's also vandalism. It's tampering. Pretty. And they're obviously trying to make sure that there's no independent audio video record of the of, of what they're Man, that just pisses me off. That is so freaking egregious what this girl's doing. You're there for a welfare check and you don't want the party to know you're the cop? Wow. Maybe that way, when they answer the door with a gun, you can kill them and say they shouldn't have answered the door with a gun. Yeah, maybe that's it. They're doing, and that's obstruction of justice. And um, it should be investigated as a, as a criminal offense. The woman has made a complaint and has a meeting next week with EPS's Professional Standards Branch. I'm assuming Professional Standards Branch is the IA division. She's hoping the investigation is taken seriously, saying if she was actually having a mental health episode, it might have not ended well. I would think if somebody were already scared and in crisis, that would cause them to maybe get so scared they would hurt themselves. Of course. That's what the cops want, because then they can shoot you to save you. They can kill you to prevent you from hurting yourself. Spokesperson for EPS did not answer any of our direct questions, only saying the incident is under investigation. In Edmonton, Rochelle Sufi, City News. Absolutely outrageous. Earning the hate. But Rick, you're just picking on her. Okay. All right. Well, in that there.